Okay, so now let's try to implement a simple nga parser using Prolog. Um, Prolog is a programming language. Um, however, dili siya same sa kanang programming languages nga inyong gaka-encounter usually just like Java, Python, C. So lahi ni siya yung paradigm ni Prolog. Ang paradigm ni Prolog is um, logic. Okay. So, if makuratan mo sa um, akong demonstration right now, it's okay. You can research more about Prolog. Uh, maka, pwede po mo makatry o use ay ha. However, um, pag-inform lang mo if na certain concept ni Prolog na um, maglisod mag-follow. Well, I'll do my demonstration. Okay, so I'd I'd be happy to help. Uh, okay, so ah, uh, yun kita. Okay, so mo niyang terminal ni Prolog. Then, Okay, so makita ra ninyo akong screen. So sa left na side, we have our prolog terminal. On the right side, we have source code nako for the prolog and then I mean top right is the source code. Bottom right is ang grammar na try na to og buhat og parser. Okay? So, I guess, hmm, how do I think you use this? Um, so, prologue, you have your term facts. Okay. Facts. F A C T S. Facts. So, sa so prologue, you, you define your facts first, and then after defining your facts, you um, define your rules. So, for example, um, can you, you can define digit as a fact. So, for example, we can say um, 0 is a digit. Okay? Pwede tam kaya na. So, okay, we have created one line of prologue code. Hi. Okay, so, moto siya, this just says that 0 is a digit. Okay? So let's try to do this uh, other numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So now we have um, stated the facts that our digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Then... Let's try to ask Prolog if a certain character is a digit. So take a look at the left side of my screen. So let's try to ask if is one a digit? Okay, so ningo si Prolog that true. So we know that one is a digit. Okay, let's try other numbers. So is Nine a digit? I joke. Yan ang true natin dito. Is nine a digit? Okay. Hingan siya nga true. Let's try um, 
letter A. So, mutan nata if A is a digit. Send me to bug. What happened? I joke. So, sayo. Kani. Is A a digit? Okay, so ningo siya nga false. Because wala mo na to define nga may mong digit ang character na A. Okay? Oops. So now, pwede po ta makapangunta na ni Prolog if unsa ang atong digits. So for example, may mungutan na ko. Unsa man ang digits na ko. Um... Kumu, kung ang imo ganing ipasa kang prolog starts with a capital letter, pasabot ang naki variable siya. So, ang atong interpretation ani kay x kay is a variable. And we're asking prolog if which um, atoms are digits. And then, kato siyang atoms kim store siya diri sa x. So, for example, mga tanata, if one's atom digit, so we have x is equal to 0. We also have 1 as a digit, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there, there we have it. There we have our digits. Okay. Um, next. Let's try whole number. Let's try to create a rule for this whole number. So we can see that a whole number uh, hmm. Ay, ano So, um, later ang atong i-input kang prolog is actually is a list so, For example, if we want to parse the string 2021 20, Ang atong i-input ni prolog is kan siya. 2, 0, 2, 1. Okay? So, since this is a list, of course, ang atong list kay na siya head and tail. So, please also familiarize yourself with um, basic terminologies sa different nga data structures. So, kanisya nga data structure akong gipakita sa inyo karoon is a list. List data structure. Okay. And then, ang list nga data structure can have a head and also a tail. So, as you can notice, ang head sa atong list as of now is 2. Meanwhile, ang tail niya is 0 to 1. Okay. So that's why um, here's atong um, definition sa whole na number. There's source code. We write head and tail because we want to um, check one character at a time. So bale ang interpretation is we want to check the character two first and then after anakai. Ang characters nga 0, 2, and then 1. So, whole number if it is a digit, ang head ki digit. If ang head kay digit, followed by a whole number. Whole tail. Okay. Then comma, this means and. So, uh, sa so regular nga programming, ang interpretation ani sa comma kay and. Okay. Next. So, na define na ni nato nga rule. Kani siya. So, ang whole number k can be a digit followed by whole number. However, wala pa ni na to na define. So, now, let's try to define um, any whole number as a digit. So, we can say so 
it is a whole number if the head is a digit. Excellent. Okay. I mean, no. Yeah, orange. Okay. Okay. So now we have um, created a prologue rule for this which says a, num um, a string is whole if it is a digit. So now let's try to run. Okay, good. Will the error? Okay. Let's try. Let's ask prologue if ang atong input is if um, 2021 is a whole number. So there we go, Ning Shag True. So we know that 2021 is a whole number. What if my tag ABC, ABC in a string? Is it a whole number? Okay, Ning Shag False. So clearly ABC is not a whole number. So let's go back to, uh, okay, let's try Pi. 3.14 comma 1.4 so is this is 3.14 a whole number false so 3.14 is not a whole number okay question so far na igagalibgan about any anyone La, Lara la, okay. Sipog tayo lang siya, review na lang sa YouTube. Ah, sige. Then, check po ninyo ang kuan, kaning, kaning a programming language, kaning prologue. Ah, uh, actually, lingaw, lingaw man siya, especially kato yung mga first nga examples. So, yung move, uh, pwede share yung mga application yung gamit niyo, sir. Ito lang si chat sa niya. Okay, sure. Okay, next, um, let's try to define a rule for this decimal. So we can say that a number is decimal if it is a whole number, period, another whole number. Okay. So we can see decimal. If it is a whole number or period and then whole number. Okay. Um, however, si prolog dili siya maka process if ang imong um, rules kay need. I mean, if ang imong rule kay pares ani na kuan lang siya kanang non terminal na taas kayo. So it needs to be able to check per character. So we will write here and decimal na to can be a digit. Uh can start with a digit and followed by uh, yeah. then we will create another rule. Let's name it decimal prime. So, kaning decimal prime, ano niya siya mag-check sa um, rules, or I mean sa characters, further down sa yung string. Decimal prime. Okay. Um, digit. J 
Jitsi head and then lastly so this just checks if whole number ang first part sa imong string okay so now we will create another rule for katong period followed by a whole number and okay. So do, how do we know if the head is a dot? So we create a new rule na to, which defines dot as a single lang a period. Dot head followed by a whole number. Whole num dapat whole numbers fail. All right, so let's try to query again prolog. So let's ask it if decimal number ang 2021. So dapat mag-insure false. E dili, wala may period ang 2021. Okay, that's good. Ni nga false. Then we ask it again if decimal C 3.5. 14. Okay, nyo true, which is correct. 3.14 is a decimal based on our rules. Okay. What if 3 three period lang? Dapat mag false ni si. Yep, okay, false. It's because wala whole number after any period. Lastly, okay, let's try to create a rule for this. So, ang number dokono or a numeral can either be a whole number or a decimal. So, you can just write it like this. Numeral input if it is a whole number or numeral ang um, Input if it is a decimal. Okay. So let's try to ask it if numeral was twenty twenty one. Okay, true. It's in numeral. Next, um, 3.14. Okay, so numeral, you can see 